everyone. Uh, I'm John Curtis. I work uh, in the office of the managing director. I also have terrible handwriting, but I'm over there. Um, I work for the group called the Center of Excellence, uh, specifically in the performance management unit, and we operate um, a program called Philly Stat, which is the public reporting function, so that's probably how you would know us. Um, last April, there was a Philly Stat with the uh, fire department, which has led us to work with um, Commissioner Sawyer uh, in support of his goal of zero fires across the city. Um, we've held focus groups in zip codes with the highest incidence of fire since 2012 to assess residents' knowledge of fire causes, fire prevention, and learn the best ways to communicate with them. Um, we've held 11 focus groups in Northwest and West Philadelphia, and we're scheduling the final group now. Um, I'm currently writing a report based on citizens' feedback, um, which will be presented to the commissioner so he can help form his strategic plan. Can I start the timer now? Sure. <laughs> I got a lot. To, no, I'm just <laughs> so I think open access really values this project touches on our um, community participation and access and inclusion. Uh, we go out to the community, we get their feedback, and we give them a way to shape how government um, can better serve them. In my experience, there are a lack of uh, formal channels which give citizens firsthand access to the government, or if there are channels, a lot of them are one way. So it's you know us talking to you and not you giving anything back. Um, another opportunity I think here is open data. A lot of the residents we talked to did not know they lived in a neighborhood that had. Um, such a high fire problem. Um, so this maybe is an area that could uh, be addressed through putting out some sort of data set that would uh, help these citizens understand the problem. Um, how we're impacting the community, we're bringing the government to the people to gain better insight um, about what works in their neighborhood and what doesn't. Um, this will allow the fire department to make informed decisions in their outreach efforts. We've learned many of these community residents um, prefer like old school methods of communications, you know, flyers, phone calls, community meetings, text message. Um, so social media and apps might not be the best way to get to these people. Um, so how can you help? First, I think one thing we lack is um, some sort of like interactive centralized repository of block captains and civic groups in the city. Um, something using you know GIS or something online that would have a way for us to find these people, find these engaged citizens, go out and reach them, and have a way for them to reach back to us. I think it would be huge and cross a lot of different agencies' work. Um, another way is uh, help me with this report I'm making. I have. Um, all this good data with zip codes, number of participants, and common themes, putting that out there in some sort of interactive map I think will be valuable to people who live there and valuable to decision makers as they go about plotting you know, what they want to do with this information. Uh, Six-word takeaway, strategic thinking, smarter government, safer city. Thank you.